They were Peter and them. They were men. But they got the teachings of Jesus. The only way you can conform is that you take the teachings of Jesus and you practice them. You practice them. That's your life now. That's your life now. You don't, you don't live now by based on how you feel, the works of the flesh. You can't live now by, oh, I'm mad, I'm angry. No, the Bible says if you're conforming, if you're a chain, then the Bible says I should have some love. I should have joy. I should have peace. I should have some kindness. So if you find yourself not conforming, guess what? Something wrong. If you're not transforming, preacher, you ain't doing something right. You ain't doing something right. If you're not changing, if you're not transforming, your attitude is not changing, the devil got some stuff in your mindset that he done caused you to conform to and it done became strongholds in your life. It done became stronghold and it got you bound. You can't be free. And the only way you're going to be free, man, is that you're going to take on the mind of Christ and you're going you're gonna to experience peace, joy, love, and the things that God has called us to do. Amen? Amen? Let me read this. Conformity. Watch what it says. See, you got to get some knowledge. Tell you this. I mean, you got to get some knowledge, man. Get, get knowledge, man. Get knowledge, man. See, go in grace, right? Go in grace and in the knowledge. Watch it. Conformity is to Ike of matching attitude, beliefs, and behaviors to group norms. Norms are explicit, specific rules, right? Shared by a group of individuals that guide their interaction with others. So this tendency to conform occurs in small groups and in our society as a whole. And we may result from subtle, unconscious influence. Watch that, what it said. Subtle, unconscious influence. See, every, see the God, who is the God of this world? Watch this. Satan. Satan. Satan is the God of this world. He done blinded the minds of people. And he done blinded the minds of a lot of saints. She called what his Satan does. Satan fight like this. Satan say, I know I can't be everywhere all the time. I ain't God. But Satan says, I can control the system. I'm the God of this world. If I can tell people what to drink, if I can tell them what to drive, if I can tell them this ain't, if I can tell them that if they ain't driving no BMW, they ain't cool. If I can tell them, you know, they got to go after the things of the world. Guess what you done did? You don't conform. That's why Jesus came and that's why Jesus came and said, seek first what? The kingdom of God and all this righteousness. Those things like that should what? They're going to be added. But the world done messed us up so bad. Y'all might as well say amen. Let the church say amen. I had to do a lot of repenting this weekend, uh, Minister Baptist. I had to do a lot of repenting because subconsciously in your mind, if I'm thinking like that, like, now watch that mind. But I, I tell you, that thing is so subtle and influent. If I'm looking at a commercial, right? Right? From somebody, young fella. I want to get this B. No, I ain't going to say BNW because somebody might think I'm talking about them. I ain't going to say that. <laughs> but that's my nephew. I can talk about it. Amen. But for example, in society, it tells you if I got a fat ride like a BMW, all the women's going to love me. All the girls going to be after me. <laughs> y'all talk to me now. Y'all act like y'all don't know I'm telling And you be riding around, but that ain't no conscious thought. So I don't want no, I don't want no. Impeller. No, man. You can't give a joke of that, dude. No, man. Don't give me no impeller, man. I won't take that. Joke try to give you a gift. But you don't conform. So to the world. Tell little stuff like that. You know, you I'm like, Jesus, we messed up. I say, Lord, boy, that devil done put it on us. You know? And then now we got to conform to the image. You got to know how to be content no matter what you got. Even if you got a lot, you got to be content. That's how Jesus did this thing. Paul said, I'm born on the all state. No matter what I got, what I'm going through, man, I got salvation. What state of mind I am, man. I love Jesus, and I know I can't take nothing from this world. I can't take it away from it. Whatever I got in this world, I got to do what? Leave it here. Can't take nothing from this world. Only what you do for Christ is going to last. Only. But the devil don't so came and messed our mindsets up. Until we get our minds right, preach about we ain't going to do all that you were talking about. We don't do all that you were talking about, man. Walking in the spirit, living in the spirit. We got to do, understand what the enemy how infiltrated our, our society, how he infiltrated our homes, how he infiltrated our community. You know, Jenny Boy killed Jenny Boy by some joints? Because they tell him he got to have them. You know? So that image, you know, that conforming, you know, that conforming to the things of this life. And then now you have to be transformed and you got to start thinking about your brothers now. I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this. For you. I can't read all this. But y'all read up that conformity. I'm through. I'm, I'm finishing right here. 
Y'all, y'all look at that. Look at that definition. Conformity. And please study. And you're gonna say, "Wow, I've been conforming to some stuff that I shouldn't have been conforming to, even as a believer." Sometimes you could be watching TV too. We love sports. Come on, I'm gonna talk with us now. Y'all sports fan, milk. We sport. Sometimes, man, I find myself. I look at basketball for two, three hours. I look at the football game for three, four hours. Guess what? Because I'm, I love sports. I'm after, guess what I'm conforming to? I'm conforming to sports. Now, now Super Bowl time come, I ain't coming to church. Man, it's Super Bowl. I'm talking that. Hey, time to get that ball off of me. That's free. Super Bowl time come. Because I'm conform to a fan. Because the world have told me football, I got to be fanatical. I don't conform to that. Then guess what? I can't do the things that Christ done called me to do. I can't do none of that stuff because I don't conform to the things of this world. I'm a carnal man. I'm walking in carnality. I'm worried about what I got on how I look, my hair, my hair do this. I'm worried about, oh, am I fine in this dress? Y'all know y'all sisters. Y'all know I'm talking about you. Am I? Your mind done been messed up. Do I look cute in this? Oh, I wonder what they're going to say when I step in church like this. Your mind messed up. Yo, you should be stepping in church. I'm going to get God some praise. Man, I'm going to get God some praise. Oh, my God. I'm going to hear the word of God. Man, I'm going to get somebody a life. I'm going to change somebody a life. Oh, Jesus. Man, come on. Tell that devil. Say, devil, you're a liar, but we don't caught you, boy. We're not conforming to what he tell us to do. But you got, and that's why it's so subtle. It's so subtle. See, cause even our government, they try to tell us what to conform to. Say sex, man. Now, nah, my Bible say marriage is between a man and a woman. Thousands and thousands of years they've been told her. Now all of a sudden, you're going to tell me now all of a sudden you're going to change the whole dif- definition? Oh man, it's between two people. Two people. Why do they call it a carriage? Call it a parriage. Call it what I ain't because I ain't got love everybody. But don't call it no marriage. Don't call it no marriage. I'm not conforming to that. Abortion issue. Oh, it's okay. Go and kill that baby. What God call it? God called it murder. Yeah. And then we get in there with that. Com- that, that that's why I, I, I didn't vote. Call. You tell, we got democracy. They told me as a black man, I always supposed to vote Democrat. You conforming? Cause what now? Democrats are saying that same-sex marriage, abortion. So I'm saying, God, I'm like, who I'm gonna obey? God, I'm, I, I, a homosexual got mad at me. Oh, he looked at me like, he was a white brother. He was a brother, but he was white. Yeah. Gay guy. I said, like, how you going to tell me? Oh, 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 I know you're going to vote for Hillary. You're, you're black. I look, I, boy, I got a righteous indignation in me. Man, who in the devil? I like the, boy, who in the devil? I like, boy, I like to cut him off. I almost got in the flesh. To be honest with you. Because they feel like, they feel like because we black, they're homosexual. We got the same thing going on. So we're supposed to be. Fo- I said, I will not tell your neighbors. I will not conform to this world of thinking. I will not conform. I'm, I'm going to do what God say do, man. I'm going to be about the kingdom. I'm going to be about soul. I'm going to be about prayer. I'm going to be about giving myself to God. Please. Like, and that's what I'm going to conform to. And I know this. If I conform that, then I know I take on the mind of our Savior. I know, man, we'll do great things for Jesus. You can't allow the enemy. This is another thing. I'm knocking ahead. I'm stopping y'all. I'm on a roll. <laughs> tradition, tradition, conformity in the church. We come in here and we conform to tradition. Talking about, you know, you know, you talking about things like you come in the church and you think it's supposed to be ran. Think it's supposed to be ran like, like a society club. But this ain't Burger King. Boy, this is this is God's ways of doing things in the church. We come in here with the wrong mindset. Oh, I want to preach. Oh, I want that mic. Oh, I want to preach. I'm waiting my time to preach. No, never let me do that. All that. Boy, that stuff from, that stuff is confirmation. It's conforming to church. It's conforming, it's conforming to, to tradition. And what doesn't happen, we got men of our churches, our black churches. We don't so conform to tradition. Tell the power of God it's not in the church anymore. That's what conformity does. It take, it's called lukewarmness. And it takes away the power. That's the church in Laodicea y'all were talking about. It takes away the power out the church. If you conform. Conforming is like poison. It's like poison. It takes away the power. So you got to fight, man. That's why Paul said, man, I beg you. By the mercy of God, don't conform to the world. And then the chapter in 8, 
I'm going to finish it right here on 829. The Bible let us know, same chapter, Mr. Bear preached about, the way that we conform, we conform because we want to become, we want to become into the image of our son, Jesus, of God's son, Jesus. Then we can be led by the spirit. Then we can truly say we are God children. We, we are led by the spirit and we'll do things of the spirit. We'll do great exploit. We'll cast out devils. We'll lay hands on the sick, y'all. We'll do all this stuff God told us to do. But if our mind is not, if our mind don't transform, we're going to continue to operate in the flesh and the enemy is going to continue to rob us and steal. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Come on, give God a praise, man. I just had to try to get that out best way I could. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, you can stand in the presence of the Lord. Come on, if anybody need prayer, anybody need prayer, Man, anybody need to say, Lord, I mean, if you, if you need to be saved, please come down and give God your heart. Give God your heart, man. So your mind, see, everybody that conform to this world, if you conform to this world, then that means you're on your way to hell. That's what that means. If you conform to the ways of Christ, you're conforming to everlasting life. So you can have, man, Jesus right now. He's a gift. He's a gift. Amen. To those of you, man, that know you ain't, you know you need some prayer. You know your mindset ain't right. I want to open, man. You know you need some help. That's what the church is for. We're here to build one another, encourage one another, man, and strengthen one another so we can all come into that mature man in Christ, man. That's what this is all about. That's what church is all about. And a lot of you know you ain't, you, you know you ain't living where you're supposed to be living. You know that you're allowing the enemy just to beat you down in your mind. So as a man thinketh, so is he. House all right? Everybody all right? Give God a worship then. Give him a praise. Tell the Lord thank you. Give him a praise then. Give him a praise. I know. We'll be praying for you anyway. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's give God a good praise. Give God some thanks. Tell the Lord thank you. Thank you for his word. Thank you for the word, Minister Bell. Appreciate it. Amen. Amen. We do give God honor. Amen. All minds are clear. We're getting ready to let you go home. All minds are clear. All minds are clear. About a good. Amen. Well, let's dismiss. Amen. Let's dismiss in the name of Jesus. Amen. Y'all know what we do. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's do it together. Come on. Now unto him who is able to keep falling. It's faultless to the present of his glory. See it in joy to the only wise God, our Savior, glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Well, now and forever, let the church say, Amen. consider yourself dismissed.